I love Dune 2021. I've watched this movie over a dozen times. I think, no, I know. I love this movie more than the sequel. The shots in Dune 1 seem better, and the pacing, while slower, seemed more intimate and more powerful. However, there is something about the first Dune I love every time I see and hear it. It is the scene of Lady Jessica offering her son to Reverend Mother Gaius Helen Moheim of the Bene Gesserit. This scene shows not only the fear Lady Jessica has for her son Paul, but also how the words of the litany of fear transform and reassure her and Paul. I want to show parts of the scene and talk about in my own words, so let's get to it. Silence. Without getting too deep in the Dune lore, I want to kind of paint a broad strokes of this, everything leading up to the scene. So, the Atreides family is an old house and part of the Land's Rad, a collection of wealthy old noble houses in the universe. The House of Atreides is one of the most powerful houses in the Land's Rad and is slowly gaining more power, respect, and influence. This rise in power has made the Emperor Shaddam Karino IV jealous. And so he has instructed that the Harkonnens, the most sadistic and wealthiest family in the universe, rivaling even the emperor himself, leave their lucrative business of spice production on Arrakis and hand it over to the House of Atreides. Yes, this is an obvious trap, but one House of Atreides cannot refuse, and it is a decree from the emperor. For several decades, the Harkonnens, a ruthless and insanely powerful family, have reigned over the Fremen, a nomadic tribe on Arrakis. This has allowed the Harkonnens to control the production and distribution of a very powerful resource in the universe, which is called spice. Spice is a fuel source for interdimensional travel and is also a psychoactive substance used to enhance qualities in humans. However, there is a group of beings in the universe who are considered the most mysterious and powerful out of all the great houses of the universe. For several millennia, they have worked in the shadows to turn the course of history and prophecy for their benefit. They have systematically set up sects of the religious order throughout every corner of the galaxy to ensure their will is followed. They believe there will be one day a being who will transform both time and space, known as the Kwisatz Haderach, the one who can be many places at once. This order is known as the Bene Gesserit, and they have carefully over the centuries married, intermarried, and produced bloodlines to ensure the Kwisatz Haderach will come into being. The Bene Gesserit believes that the Kwisatz Haderach should be female because women are more powerful than men. This is where Lady Jessica comes in, who is also a Bene Gesserit. She was tasked by the Bene Gesserit with having a daughter specifically, but willed a son into being with Duke Leto Atreides, Paul's father. This has gone against the Bene Gesserit's plans, and they look upon Paul as an abomination, someone uncontrollable, someone unpredictable. Paul must pass an initial test. As Reverend Mother puts it, Paul must be sifted for his quality and the potential to the Bene Gesserit. This test could kill Paul, and Lady Jessica knows this. Lady Jessica senses Paul is not ready. However, over the course of the scene, she quotes the Litany of Fear, a mantra used by the Bene Gesserit to overcome not only fear, but mastering their inner self. What I love about the scene is everything leading up to it. Lady Jessica is incredibly terrified up until this point. However, over the course of the beginning parts of the movies, she's very calm almost calm as a cucumber. She comes across more of a sensei to Paul than a mother, but she kind of dashes a little bit of firm lessons with the smallest glimpse of motherly tenderness up until this specific moment. She instructs Dr. Yue to check Paul's vitals. She knows the pain he will endure, and she wants to protect her son. She tells Paul before they go in and see the Reverend Mother that he must obey everything the Reverend Mother tells him. This brief scene in the film provides a glimpse of how powerful the Reverend Mother is to Lady Jessica and how Lady Jessica is to Paul. That Lady Jessica can be reduced to one of subordinate to the Reverend Mother. In fact, Paul picks up on this power imbalance and lack of respect and is warned by the Reverend Mother to mind what his mother just told him to do. As Paul is about to go through the test, Lady Jessica begins to almost have a nervous breakdown and is bowled over in horrifying, almost debilitating fear for her son. 
Just as Paul is experiencing immense pain, Lady Jessica begins to utter the litany of fear, which is as follows. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over me and through me. And when it has gone past, I will turn the inner eye to see its path. Where the fear has gone, there will be nothing. Only I will remain. What is great about this scene is at the moment Jessica feels immense fear, Paul is showing feeling immense pain. It was stated to Paul at the beginning of the test that if he removes his hand from the box, he will die from the gom jabar, a poison needle the Reverend Mother has aimed within millimeters of his neck. As Paul's going through the pain, he's told to quiet his screams. Lady Jessica at that same moment begins to settle a bit in her emotions. As Paul gets angrier, he sees flashes of horrific images of things to come or yet to be. The movie shows Lady Jessica sensing Paul is focusing his anger and power. Lady Jessica becomes more resolute, more calmer, reassured that her son will not die today, and that he is indeed the Kwisatz Haderach. Rebecca Ferguson is an incredible actress, and you can see the range of emotions from just this scene, which is no longer than like two minutes. As Paul overcomes the fear and pain, you can see in his eyes defiance, and this has scared the Reverend Mother. She can see that Paul is something more, something greater, something terrifying. She tells him to stop the trial. Lady Jessica is now completely composed, almost emboldened as she says the last lines of the litany. Where the fear has gone, there will be nothing. Only I will remain. Closing thoughts. <laughs> this mantra is incredibly powerful. Um, I'm someone who suffers from anxiety, and when I read it, or even when I hear it uttered, I feel incredibly calm. It's a tool I found myself using a lot this year. And it's one I will continue to use whenever I feel afraid or anxious about what is to come. Just to quote it again, because I can feel it kind of welling up in me. Um, I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over me and through me. And when it has gone past, I will turn the inner eye to see its path. Where the fear has gone, there will be nothing. Only I will remain. It's going to be all right. <laughs> you got to keep telling yourself everything is going to be all right. Um, if you like what I had to say, feel free to like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell for the latest. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. That's all I got. Cabs out.